And we are back here at the Trail Mixer, the H2O Wrestling Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Blake Chadwick joined once again by Anthony Blackwell. Anthony, I know you just saw that Campionatus Duranas tag team title bout. What was Ryan Mooney trying to do? I have no idea. Very out of character for Ryan Mooney. Uh, seems like he's got his eye on those titles, and he definitely did not want main event to be the ones to have them. Certainly had a lot to say here in the broadcast table and almost had as much to say inside the ring but quickly derailed by both teams, but the outfielders still the champions, but coming up here, triple threat action. Who you got, Anthony? I'll tell you what, this one is terrifying to say the least. Masha and Edith have this absolute blood feud. And here comes Blank. Yeah, so that blood feud co continued from uh, GCW Fight Forever into the Soviet death match between Masha and, and, and Edith. Edith was unable to compete at Abby's birthday party, so Edith, Ma Masha said, I'll do one better and I'll kill, kill your creator, as in Blank. And then the drama unfolded. If you got a chance to watch it on IWTV, Blank and Masha had some words, Blank and Edith had some words, which is going to lead into this triple threat, threat, tri triple threat match. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Say that three times fast. As we certainly know, the crowd supports our third competitor in this bout. Not too big of fans of blank, but of course the wild card in this one, Juan Masha Slamovich. Masha's been tearing it up all over the place recently. You've been seeing her on NWA. You've been seeing her everywhere. She's, and she's we'll also see her on CFU yes. coming up next here on IWTV. <laughs> Very excited to see the return of Edith Surreal coming back from injury. And now we get to see her in action against her creator and her ultimate rival. And listen to this reaction by the great crowd here. All of the campers assembling in Williamstown as Camp Leapfrog hits the road and Edith Surreal just as popular on campus and wherever Leapfrog takes us. Edith already setting a tone, comes into the ring on Masha's side, almost walks directly up to her like, I, I do not fear you. And that dynamic between Blank and Edith Surreal, certainly something that will be very interesting to see how it transpires all throughout this battle. This this crowd just went yeah. silent. They know they know the 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 drama to this, and, and what of course this, the history yeah. between these three competitors. And remember, folks, this is one fall to a finish. You belong to me. As Masha Slamovich oh. there trying to break up the party and briefly, blank and surreal reunite. Well, not so much. Blanks, I don't know if you heard, he said, I own you. And Edith said, no, 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 you do not. But at least for the purpose of getting rid of Masha Slamovich here, they're working very well together. Yeah, they do have a common enemy in that aspect. A Death Valley driver from Blank right on to Slamovich, utilizing Surreal. Now Blank's going to charge into Surreal. And Edith connects with a European uppercut. Blank comes back with a big kick, but I think he missed her. She comes right back, certainly on the mark. Yeah. Here comes Blank with a big kick, and Surreal, a standing drop kick, takes down Blank. And Blank now trying to jostle for position with Edith Surreal. These two know each other very well. Uh, training partners, tag team partners, they've been doing everything for a very long time. And of course, as you mentioned, Anthony, according to Blank, Surreal belongs to him. There's a cross body from the top by Slamovich, as I pointed out in the beginning of the bout, certainly the wild card in this co-main event. Yeah, you can't you can't prepare for Masha because she's not a she's she'll go to any depths to win a match, and you can't prepare for someone like the that. The most unpredictable camper in all of Leapfrog is Masha Slamovich. As Blank charges in, eats the boot of Masha. And now Masha. This is, this is how crazy Masha is. I was backstage, I took, I took a break to let Ryan come up here, and Masha was literally in the corner of the dressing room just staring daggers through Janai Kai. So she already has a match coming up and already just staring at her opponent for tonight at CFU. Certainly gonna be a big one for that championship coming up later on tonight on IWTV, but still a lot left to come here at Camp Leapfrog. Of course, coming up next, our big time main event, the Camper's Choice Trail Mixer.
We want to thank our sponsors for this po- uh, this this match, uh, the Party of One podcast, and that's going to be at Party of One Pod on all social media or on Twitter. Send them a tweet. Say thank you so much for sponsoring Camp Leapfrog. And if you want to get involved with sponsorship, if you want to sponsor a talent or a match, please DM us at Camp Leapfrog or send an email. And of course, we have a party of three inside the ring right now, but blank nowhere to be found as Edith Surreal. Another competitor on the CFU roster who likes to get the job done inside the cage, but getting it done here in this triple threat environment. Or should I say this three-way dance environment. Edith had that leg submission locked in and Blank come in and just landed that big overhand right. Blank certainly not winning over many fans or campers in all of Leapfrog. He's in an interesting predicament in this match because the blood feud is so thick between Edith and Masha that, that Blank kind of just slides in because he's waiting for that because they know they're so focused Blank on Blank connects the brain buster. One, two. Almost three and there. And senior official Chris Levin says it's only two. But he's kind of sliding in this back door spot and uh, taking advantage of them maybe counting him out a little bit. As Blank picks Slamovich up to a vertical basin. He's going to send Masha right to the outside. And as Edith Surreal looks to re-enter this bout, Blank evening the odds yet again. Using that ring apron to slam Edith's head against it. Just coming back from concussion protocol, so definitely uh, that's a target on her back right now. Certainly, referee Chris Levin needs to be careful and make sure that Edith Surreal is able to continue and medically fit to compete in this bout. Yes. Well, she just to be clear, she was medically cleared for here. Her concussion things are over, but that was her previous injury, so that is a definite target on her back. You never know how it could transpire throughout yep. this one, bell to bell, as Blank right now going for the vertical suplex. Surreal putting on the brakes here. Edith Surreal utilizing her size to crouch down and big and block it, but Blank here, German suplex, he's going to roll with her. He says he's got one more in him. And Blank, standing switch by Surreal, going to run Blank into the ropes. Here we go, O'Connor roll, doesn't make it all the way to the ropes, but Slamovich comes in, oh. and look at that kick right to the back of the head by Masha Slamovich. The Russian Dynamite on fire here tonight at the Trail Mixer. That's twice now Edith was in a submission attempt and a pin, t- a pin attempt, focusing on her opponent and taking a huge shot to the head, not paying attention to her third opponent. As Masha Slamovich now picking up Edith Surreal by her ponytail. As Blank trying to recover in the corner here, Surreal has her. Surreal actually in a very precarious position here in that fireman's carry. Oh. And now Blank throwing shots on Surreal. Never did we think we'd see Edith Surreal being double teamed by Blank and Masha Slamovich. Uh, that goes to show that, that she's definitely a threat in both their eyes and they got a double team against Every her. Every competitor for themselves in this environment here as Surreal trying to grab at the leg of Slamovich here. Almost that CFU-like environment, Anthony. Yeah. If you think the shots and kicks are flying here, just wait till that cage gets put up later on tonight on IWTV. As Surreal running from pillar to post, taking it to Slamovich, taking it to Blank. And now Surreal's going to send Slamovich right into Blank with the hip lock takeover. Innovative offense by Edith Surreal. The strength for her to throw her into Blank like that is very impressive. As Surreal... Going to scoop up Slamovich here. Going for the power bomb oh. and drops her right on the blank. That could do some damage to her kidney in his midsection, possibly breaking some ribs. Going up to the high rent district here. And with Slamovich and Blank both down in a supine position, Edith Surreal, she climbs all the way upstairs into the depths of Leapfrog. Here we go. Big splash. One, two, no. Only two. Maybe should have just covered one there because both were able to use their strength to throw her off. Maybe just covering one would have helped out tremendously there. As Surreal now trying to get to a vertical base. She's the first one to her feet. Blank looks to be number two. Slamovich still making an attempt to get up. Surreal. Oh, she's taken down with a big kick by Slamovich. Roundhouse kick takes out Blank. Oh. And a modified Olympic slam right there by Masha Slamovich. Almost a belly-to-back suplex as she utilizes her power and strength as dumping blank. And Surreal now. 
snaps off a DDT. One, two, and Blank breaks it up. Once again, one of the caveats of the three-way dance, Anthony, that third competitor can always insert themselves into a pinfall attempt. Yeah, and every single one of these shots is enough to finish this match. But uh, that third person stepping in, like you said, has definitely been the uh, huge cru crucial factor here. One of them got to figure out how to eliminate one completely from this bout. So Surreal now in the wheelbarrow position, going for a pinfall attempt on Blank. Trying to twist him up like a pretzel. Submission attempt looking to be applied here. Blank struggling. He's fighting through it. He's trying to fight through it, but she, she, he is about to lock it in. That modified figure four, but there's Slamovich. She's going to grab the rear naked choke. Blank's got nowhere to go. Who's locking in the submission, though? Three. Who wins? Who wins? <laughs> They're giving it to Blank. I guess Blank rolled over and he was technically on top of Edith. And somehow Blank wins. Anthony, I'm not exactly sure. We need to see an instant replay. Yeah. But I think you were right. The yeah. shoulders must have been down. Edith Blake was on top and he's awarded the victory. Yeah, Edith was in that leg lock, flipped over. Her shoulders were down. She was trapped with the weight of Masha on top. Blank was able to get that pin. Uh, and I don't, I don't think this rivalry is even close to being over because that, that's not a satisfying way to win it. So it looks like Edith Surreal. Oh, no. Masha Slamovich going right after Surreal. Let's get some security out here. Let's get some counselors to come out and help. As Slamovich here, that got style pile driver. As Masha Slamovich. No pun intended, leaving a trail of destruction right here at the Trail Mixer. One of those rivalries happening here at Camp Leapfrog that terrifies me where this is going to go next. We talked about the Party of One podcast being the official sponsor for this co-main event. Masha Slamovich, a party of one here at Camp Leapfrog. Well, folks, is referee Chris Levin checking in on Edith Surreal. Coming up next, it's the Camper's Choice Trail Mixer. It's going to be Anthony Blackwell joined by Scott Holiday to call our big-time main event. And it's coming down right now on IWTV.